Good morning. Who really is in Jesus' family? Hi, I'm Larry Kirkpatrick. I'm the pastor of the Muskegon and Fremont, Michigan, Seventh-day Adventist churches. And I'm glad to share these morning devotionals with you as we begin our day. Let's look at Mark 3, 31 to 35 today and jump right in. Then his brothers and his mother came and standing outside, they said to him, calling him, and a multitude was sitting around him, and they said to him, Look, your mother and your brothers are outside seeking you. But he answered them, saying, Who was my mother or my brothers? And he looked around in a circle at those who sat about him and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and my sister and my mother. Pretty interesting passage there. Pretty interesting passage. You know, those, who's in Jesus' family? Sometimes our family disappoints us. They, they leave us behind or they're, they're, everybody's off in their own corner doing their own stuff. They're not really uh, having watch care or concern or interest in us. You know what, who your true family is? Don't abandon your regular family. Pray for them and, and give them all the mercy and grace that, that Jesus has given you. But you know what, who's your true family? The, those who do the will of God. Those who do the will of God. Those are one family. And so if you are seeking to do God's will, you know, the church is also your family. They're your fellow spiritual seekers. So you pray for the church, members of your church, and they'll pray for you. And don't forget that you're added to Jesus' family, to God's family, when you're one who earnestly seeks to do His will. So let's pray together. Your Father in heaven, as we're looking into the Gospel of Mark, we're looking to see Jesus. And one of those things that we're seeing as we're working through is that you are building your family. You are calling us to be part of your family. And so help us, Lord, also to be part of the family of your church. Strengthen us. Help us to support each other. Support each other in prayer. Support each other in times of need. And help us to be able to communicate to each other that we're thinking of each other, we're supporting each other, and praying for each other. So, Lord, thank you for inviting us into your family when you ask us to do your will. We become part of your family. Bless us, Lord, so that we will be part of your family in this way. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God be with you today as you are looking to follow God's ways. A question, is there anything you've been putting off, something you know that God wants you to do and you haven't really surrendered to Him and you know you should? Most of us, many of us might have an item or two like that. I want to just appeal to you today to take this item to Jesus in prayer and see what, see what He gives you about it. You know, He's, He's ready to help you to surrender whatever it is that you might still be needing to surrender to Him. You can be in close with Jesus in his family. God be with you this day.